Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is what are their true intentions in love. Yes, it is. Once again, I am flipping the cards right. So bad of me, right? Yes, yeah, who we got. Let's get some cards from the Love Oracle cards. That's what they are. Mm -hmm. Easy to remember the name, right? <laughs> See what we have, you guys. And let's get a couple shuffles in first for Sagittarius and their person. Right? These cards are kind of all switched around. That's okay. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person, please. What do we have for Sagittarius? Photograph. They're looking at your pictures. Missing you. Nostalgia. They want to make new memories with you. Sagittarius, this person. All right? Mm -hmm. They want you uh, around them because you laugh and you, you know, you're funny and all this other stuff. All right? Making new memories. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are all funny, but sometimes Sagittarians are. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Twin flames, yin-yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. Okay, we know that duality is not really, uh, not really so uh, relative here. Um, but, I mean, in the sense I feel like they're putting it here. But, you know, this is somebody who is your twin flame. This is somebody who is your soulmate. Yeah, you guys compliment each other. Yeah, they want to yin-yang you, Sagittarius. That's why it says yin-yang and then zen. They want to yin-yang you. <laughs> and one more card. Let's see what we got. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expanding new phases, preparing for union. Your person, uh, they might be transcending obstacles to come to you. This could be a, what do you call those things? Continuations. That's what you call them. Yes. Episode continuing the saga, right, Sagittarius, with uh, with an Earth sign possibly for some of you guys. Let's see though, could be you know any sign, but let's see. Show me the energy for Sagittarius and their person. Let's see, and we have skunk spirit. Know your worth. Wow, somebody needs to know their worth. All right, or maybe how bad they smell. Just kidding, the skunk skunk spirit. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. Wow. So look at that. Trust in the magic. This person knows there's magic. Woo, look at that. Uh, yeah, yin-yang and zen and all these beautiful things. Balance and union, complementing each other, looking at your photos. And this says trust in the magic. But this person, somebody needs to know their worth there. Or their worth here, okay, Sagittarius? Hopefully it's you. I mean, hopefully it's... It's them because I'm talking to you directly, and I want you to know your worth, all right, Sagittarius? Okay? I'm going to be like your mom right now, okay? <laughs> like, like moms moms tell their daughters, at least some of them, they go, uh, okay, you're going to date so-and-so, okay. You do it on your terms, right? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. It really is, right? You do it on the, on the woman's terms because... Uh, sorry, you guys, if you think I'm being uh, sexist here, in case you're listening, but women are usually more, they really are typically the ones who want the long-term union, and yeah, so it has to be on the woman's terms, okay, we're not going to get into that, but that is how uh, it was in the olden days, and once it changed, where, you know, uh, men, uh, women can call men and all that, you just put yourself in a, in a lousy situation, all right? The only time women should be calling men is if you're really in a long, if you're really in a, a union with them, like a real solid union. That's really your boyfriend or your husband. Other than that, if you're calling somebody that you're dating, it's, trust me, they want to call you. Trust me on that one, okay? So let's get into the reading without further psychology and kind of, you know, a couple counseling. Let's see what we got. And right now, Sagittarius, the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. It's coming up with the Five of Wands and the Two of Swords. You could be wondering if somebody's going to leave somebody out to come forward and have success with you. You could. Uh, maybe, yeah, I feel like that's what you are doing here. It's going to depend, you know. I'm not really sure who these... Uh, I mean, this is kind of like the bottom of the deck stuff. Uh, yeah, it is. And I feel like you are wondering that. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's have a look at your energy. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. Yep. Let's cut it. Cut the cake. Let's see. Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. This is your, your card. This is you showing up. 
this time you have flowers I feel like in your uh, maybe they're green gems <laughs> in your emeralds maybe in your crown but this is you showing up in the upright with all your glory and let's see in your fears is I mean in your desires is the six of swords you want to leave someone or somebody or you want them to leave somebody else I feel like you want them to leave somebody else and they're looking at your pictures right yeah and what you are fearing is the page of pentacles you could be fearing you're not going to have it unless somebody leaves somebody else I feel like that's what this reading is about and this reading it just started right I don't have their cards their cards are the star card the two of wands the block is the knight of wands it could be you they could really have to walk away from somebody because this is the block for you and the block for them three of wands two of a uh, knight of swords <laughs> yeah I feel like they have to walk away from somebody for some of you guys it is you who has to walk away because simply because this is a general reading and over here is going to be your person's desires the knight of cups it's actually in the upright but you guys know how, how I do it let's see is it in the upright or the reverse let's see no it's in the it's in the uh let's see here okay their fears okay so their their desires is a knight of cups reversed I feel like they don't I feel like they want to bring you a love offer but they're not trusting themselves trust in the magic with the white raven and know your worth these cards are telling your person to like believe in themselves and trust in the magic. It, I don't think it is you here. Okay. Yeah, Sagittarius is a little. They could be a little pompous. Just kidding, you guys. <laughs> you already probably believe in yourself. Let's see what we got. <laughs> uh, I'm a Sag, you guys. So I'm just having fun here. Queen of Wands showing up, and let's see why. It's next to the Five of Wands and the Three of Wands. In the past, you're over here as the Queen. Currently, the Five of Wands is in the reverse. This could be ending competition, be coming out of struggle and strife. Let's see. Let's have a look. Let's look at the past, though. Let's get one more card than the Queen. We know you're a Queen, Sagittarius. Yeah, we do. Why is that Queen of Wands there? Nine of Wands reversed. This could be not protect in the past. This could have been you or your person not protecting a union, not protecting something. Like, I'm not worried about it anymore. I'm not, I'm going to give up. Something like that. Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you gave up on an earth sign. The same person who wants to heal things with you. Maybe an earth sign gave up on you. Right, could be. Five of Wands reversed. The Justice card, this is in the current, the current situation. I feel like there's a third party ending. Justice, it could be a divorce here. This could be, you could be saying that, why is it ten of cups there for Sagittarius? Five of Swords, wow. This is the current dynamic. I feel like somebody's ending a third party. Somebody's sabotaging. I feel like your person could be sabotaging their union right here. You could be in chaos and conflict about it, though. You could. Right? You could be in chaos and conflict. I feel like you gave up in the past. Maybe there's some despair on your part. Let's have a look over here. The Three of Wands is the block. Let's look at the block. There could be a Libra in this reading. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. King of Wands now. Most likely you, Sagittarius, unless you're dealing with a Libra, I mean a Leo, or an Aries, or a fellow Sag, right? The challenge here, Three of Wands, somebody's got to, like, turn their back on somebody. They have to start. I feel like, I feel like you are coming out of chaos and conflict here. Like, in the past, I feel like you kind of gave up on somebody. I feel like you want them to come forward, but at the same time, you're not, like, so consumed with it anymore. 
Yeah, I feel like you came, like the struggle is kind of waning, right? Sorry, guys. We got the, yeah, they're going to turn that off in a second. I feel like they are. You could be in chaos and conflict because somebody's married here. Justice, Ten of Cups. I feel like you're coming out of this chaos and conflict, but let's see. Let's get one more card in your current energy for Sagittarius. Six of Cups, somebody from your past. Four of Wands. I feel like you're coming out of this energy here where you were like dealing with a lot of struggle and strife over somebody else being in a marriage. I feel like that's what it is. And in the block for you, the Aries card is showing up. The Emperor this really talks about somebody taking control. I feel like they need to take control of their life and walk away from their situation. You already gave up over here. I don't feel like you're so stressed out about it anymore. I feel like you do want them to leave their person. In your desire is the Six of Swords. But I don't see you like... Uh, I don't see you like suffering here. I don't think so. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they have to give up their marriage and become single. It's in the reverse because they have yet to do it. This is the card of being single. This is what they need to do. Your desire... Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you want them to leave their person and hold on to you. Your person could be this Earth sign or a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Because it's going to be different for you guys, right? Yeah. Okay, unless you guys are real players and, you know, you have a Queen of Cups and a, a Knight of Pentacles who wants you, okay? And that, that, it's a possibility, right? This world's made out of players. <laughs> Just teasing you guys. <laughs> Let's see what we got. If everybody had their way, Sagittarius, you've been misunderstood. It says in more than two different uh, horoscopes, reports, or horoscope, whatever, uh, it said that you are the Don Juan and the Don Juana of the Zodiac. And so I'm a Sag, and I know that to be mostly not true, but I can see how somebody might say that too, right? Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, we can be really loyal, but... Uh, it's only when we really love somebody. Other than that, we can be... What's the word? Well, we don't usually cheat on people, though. We'll just tell them, Hey, look, you're not my, you're not my cup of tea, all right? You're not my... I don't have any fetish for you. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> I don't have any fetish for you. It's hilarious. Okay, guys. Page of Pentacles, Reverse King of Swords. This is what you're fearing, the lovers. You're afraid this person's never going to make the decision and choose you and come forward. That's what you're afraid of. But you have the trust in the magic card. All right. Trust in the magic. Wow. I feel like that's a, that's a good card. In fact, you know, the chick, the lady who made that deck, uh, she's a really good writer. I saw her do a reading. I feel like she's a great writer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like her, her talents were, you know, were in, in writing this, mm -hmm, creating this deck. She's created a lot of decks. It's a, it's a very nice deck. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I didn't, didn't, yeah, I mean, when I saw her do the reading, I, I was like, oh, it didn't seem like it would be her. But, you know, sometimes we hear people on the phone, too, and we go, oh, that didn't look like them at all. <laughs> You're not supposed to assume. But she's a very good author, okay? Yeah, she is. So let's look at the star card and get off that subject. Let's look at the star. And the star card is your person's energy. I feel like they already made up their mind here. Page of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Wands, they want change. This is your person. And crossing them is the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles reversed. I'm going to get this computer out of here. It's not good to sit by all this uh, radiation. No, it's not, you guys. Make sure you guys turn off your cell phones at night. Yeah, please do that. Unplug the router. Get yourself some uh, electromagnetic shields. You can get those online. They're called EMF protectors. Yeah, some of them are not. So, yeah, make sure you get you guys get yourself some of those. Okay, guys? Because now they got 5G and all this. It's way more. It's way. It's far more unhealthier and 
uh, far more toxic than the 4G was, and that was already toxic. Every time they go up, uh, it's just more toxic, this radiation, okay? And, of course, they're not going to tell you that, right? When you buy your cell phone, they're not going to tell you, hey, there's a lot of radiation. Turn it off at night. Don't sleep with your head next to it unless you want a brain tumor, stuff like that, all right? Yeah. So let's get back to the reading. You guys probably know a little bit of, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit of a health nut. Not really, just trying to take care, right? So let's see, your person, this is in the past, they already made up their mind. Page of Swords in the, in the, in the reverse is, I made up my mind. I'm not thinking about this anymore. Because the Page of Swords in the, in the upright can always, can often be still thinking about it. Or I need more info, I need, I need more insight, I need more knowledge to do this, something like that. Currently, this is the current, I feel like they already made up their mind too. Two of Pentacles reversed. In the upright, it is going back and forth about something. Eight of Cups, they already made up their mind to walk away from somebody. The challenge here is, could be money, Six of Pentacles. It looks like they need to be a little sneaky. They could have been sneaky with you. This could be the block for them. They could have been like kind of shitty and sneaky with you in the past. Right? Seven of Swords next to you. This could be you, the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. Maybe they ghosted you and said, I'm going to stay married to this person forever. Leave me alone, Sagittarius. But even if they said that, this person is like, you are their love. You are the real love for them. You are the true love. The truest. Mm -hmm. You are the one here. It says right here, Twin Flames, looking at your pictures and preparing for union. Yeah, not preparing for battle, guys, okay? Even though there's a war in this country. Yeah, there is. There's a silent war going on, you guys. I hope you can figure it out. And don't vote for the wrong people, okay? Please. If you vote the wrong way, we're going to have... Uh, our freedoms are going to be taken away, like, pronto. Okay? Yeah. So let's look over here... Uh, Go to VIABLA TV. It's on YouTube, Viable TV, and look at the look at the uh, the titles. And you can also go to Bitchute B I T C H U T E dot org. All right, yeah. So let's get back here. Let's get back into this. Yeah, I can't really talk about things here. So let's see. If you guys, you guys can make up your own mind if you believe it or not. Okay, but I would urge people to go over there and at least have consider have a look. Okay. So let's see what we got here, you guys. And let's get back to the reading. This is the block for them. I feel like they were already in another union, the Six of Pentacles, like a two, like a, like a, a third party in this reading. Because this is a third party reading. Yeah, it is. This is a third party reading. Where somebody's with somebody else, or, or they already left. They look like they left. They look like they're leaving right now. In the past, they made up their mind. Currently, they made up their mind, and they have the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. The challenge here, they could have been shitty with you. Maybe they, you know, it could be. This is like a block. It's not a challenge, really. Six of Pentacles. Uh, as I said, they could have had you in a third party. They could have been given to two people. Maybe you thought they were sneaky shit. Yeah, Sagittarians don't like sneaky people. No, we don't. Uh, and the Knight of Wands is showing up here. The challenge could be maybe to for them to take action, but let's see. I feel like that's not really it, though. I feel like let's let's get a card. Why is the six of pentacles there? The magician, the moon card. Wow. I feel like they were already sneaky with this other person, who could be this water sign. This could be saying they only need to take action. It could be, but the seven of swords in the block. Uh, tells me that maybe they were sneaky uh, with with you, or a liar. They could have lied to you. I'm not in any relationship at all. And you're like, what? And it, sure, it sure seems like it for some of you guys. Yeah. I feel like they were a player to you in a way, or something like that, or they lied on some level here. I feel like they did, okay? That could be blocking them, because somebody needs to know their worth and trust in this. 
Knight of Cups is going to be what they want. It could have been in the upright, I'll be honest with you guys. It's in the reverse. It doesn't... It's not going to change the meaning here because I'm reading all these other placements. Why is that Knight of Cups there for Sagittarius's person? I feel like this is their, their water sign, right? Because we know there's a water sign and an earth sign in the reading. The Queen of Cups is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water sign. And there's you, Virgo, and I, and there is a King of Wands here. This is the other person, Aries, Leo, or Sag. I mean, sorry, I forgot I was reading for Sagittarius, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Because I just did uh, Pisces reading, and it looks like it's completely related. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. So this is in their desire position. They could be this water sign. But, you know, the Knight of Cups, this could be somebody who's showing up in the reverse, as I was trying to explain before I, you know, kind of, yeah. And the, the Tower card is here. This is what they want. They want an ending. Why do they want the Tower? Why do they want the Tower? The Death card, see? They want an ending, the Death card. They want an ending with a Water Sign, most likely, or they are a Water Sign. And what they are fearing is the Page of Cups. Why would they fear that? You see, they have fear. Know your worth, the skunk. All right? Not really sure why they have a skunk there, but, you know, maybe this lady probably knows something about skunks um, that I don't know about, <laughs> the author. So what your person fears, the King of Pentacles, I feel like your person, Sagittarius, as I said, is either an earth sign or, or a water sign. And this is what they are fearing. Wow. You could be fearing not making a decision. They could be fearing the fact that maybe you felt like an option and you won't take their offer. Why is that Seven of Cups there? Why would they fear that? Because this person already made up their mind. Yes, they did. Yeah, they did. Seven of Wands, I feel like they have made up their mind. Seven of Wands, this is what they're fearing. Wow, they fear you're going to resist them. Because they had you as an option before. They're re resisting you're not going to take their offer here because they had you at, like you were one of their options. At least at least you felt like it because the Seven of Wands is here. Wow, they're fearing you're going to resist them. We're going to go over to Vimeo uh, Sagittarius. Yes, we are with the Tell All Lifts. And we're going to go, uh, we're going to talk Sagittarius about what is crowning their thoughts, how they feel about you, what they could be hiding, what they're fearing. The future between you guys, uh, I kind of want to see that, and their true intentions are all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, or sub and subscribe. All right, hit the little bell if you guys want notifications. And thank you so much for joining me here today. And for everybody who is uh, noticing something's wrong here uh, in our country, um, thank, you for, thank you for the people who are waking up to the situation. All right, thank you so much, you guys.